In this video, we're going to learn how to transfer files using WeTransfer. It's pretty simple to do, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it right now. So first, we want to open up WeTransfer.com. I'll have a link in the description. You can also search for WeTransfer on Google, and you should find this homepage here. And what we want to do is look to the left-hand side where it says Add Files. So let's go ahead and click on Add Files. Then we want to locate the file that we want to upload to WeTransfer. So let's say I want to upload this image right here. I'm going to go ahead and select it and then click on where it says open. Next, we're going to need to enter in our email. We can change the title of the email as well. So I'll just say image. And if we click on the more options button right here, we have a couple options we can do. So we can either send an email or we can create a link. So let's go ahead and actually select the send email option here. And now we have an email to area where we can go ahead and enter in the email that we want to send it to. So I'll just go ahead and send it to my other email. You can also send it to multiple people if you want as well by entering more email addresses. But for now, we're just gonna send it to that email and we're gonna go ahead and click on where it says transfer. Next, we're gonna to need to confirm our email address in order to actually use WeTransfer. So you should get an email like this where you can go ahead and copy the code and paste it in. Then you can click on verify and send. It's gonna show that it's going to begin transferring our file. Once it's completed, it's gonna show that you're done. The email has been sent and the transfer is valid for three days. So what we can do is go to our email. So now whoever you sent that email to should see their email like here. It'll say that the email that you wanted it to send from sent you an image. And then you can go ahead and click on get your files. And now that person can go ahead and click on download and download the files that you transferred to them. So that's how you can transfer files using WeTransfer. If this video helped you guys out, please leave a like. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helped you out.